Right. I began as principal in 1955 and was principal until the spring of 1970. And one of the first things I did when I became principal was to require the teachers to leave lesson plans of what their ne beginning or future week was to amount to. And with those lesson plans, I compared them with the plans that they had of last week to see that they were making progress each time. And another call at one time from a fella on the uh, highway, going east on Highway 6 here, and he said, I think that you have a schoolboy. He said he's headed east with a little chubby fella pulling his little red wagon loaded. We're almost to the golf course now. So I had to call the law officer to go out and get him. Then I had problems with boys and girls that didn't want to come to school. And just here on uh, 300, I think it was, East West 6th Street, a lady had a porch that had the lattice sides and she called me and she says, I think I got one of your boys, school boys, underneath my porch. So I went down and went, got under the porch and got him out and took him to school. And I had a girl that I went down south of the tracks to pick up and she had to go to the bathroom, so she said. And uh, the mother said, well, she just was to the bathroom. So I took her back up to school. Then I had a couple boys out on Highway 38 just across the uh, second bridge and uh, they were hiding behind a tree when the bus driver uh, come up and told me, he says, I couldn't pick them up, they wouldn't come out from behind the tree. And uh, so I went down and picked those two boys up. So I was kind of a truant officer and everything all at one time, but I tried to keep them in school anyway. That I think pretty well takes care of my some of my activities, but really I could almost write a book. But I loved all my children. I still do. And one of the worst things for me is to see their obituary in the paper. It just kind of sets me back a little bit. And I appreciate my kids that come to see me. So any of you that want to stop and see me, you know I'll be more than happy to see you. I may not know you because it may be years since I have seen you. I just had one on Sunday stop and see me and I was real happy. I didn't recognize him at all, but I was glad. So we had a little chat. So anytime you want to stop, you're more than welcome. Thank you for inviting me and I'm sorry I wasn't able to attend your banquet.